hit the core button. And so when we last gathered, the party were in recovery mode from their latest quest. And they had received word of some mishappenings taking place in another city. And Angela said to the party that they don't have to leave immediately. They can take as much time as they need in preparation before they depart. And while they were doing so, a tear and fiend requested a duel of the party to get an understanding of how strong they really are and the potential that lies within them and over the midst of their battle it was it was a pretty even playing field until uh the barriers that they casted upon each other took a incredibly tough hit to where they nearly cracked and broke and now we resume right off from when they declared that round two of the battle will begin. And as such, the battle music will resume. Oh fuck. I don't have my mouse. <laughs> I need my battle mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you don't understand. This gaming mouse is everything to me. I believe it. Alright, there we go. Death Adder Elite plugged in. Such an edgy ass fucking name for a mouse. I'm not the one that named it, Razor did. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'll name it David. All right. Okay, so you mentioned a devastating hit that cracked their shields. Yeah, they're nearly broken. And the last thing that they did before last session ended was they did some magic trick that not only combined their weapons, but gave them brand new ones. So all of their attacks and spells, as far as you you can tell, are a lot more dangerous. Oh god, it's like Power Rangers when they fuse their weapons together. That's no joke, those things could do some serious damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ice, are you still alive? I mean, I was to call you, man, because of the Phoenix staff. Yeah. Well, you're faster than you're faster than me, so you should go. Uh, I don't know. I'm faster than an NPC, though. All right. If I recall, it was their turn, wasn't it? Well, After their transformation. Fiend was cool. using a spell that made them go first automatically, but that spell is no longer active. Yeah, I'm only at sitting at 165 right now. <laughs> Yeah, so because that spell is in effect anymore, uh, Ice is going first. Alright. Please, I still have my fast speed of 165. I'm amazed. <laughs> or 167, technically. Okay. Well, uh, then they heal myself because if I don't, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> uh, is M Riku, are you gonna be playing for Mel? No, we're playing for until she gets here. Okay. I believe I only need to heal myself. Oh. It's a brain fart. I was uh, gonna bring my like two or three actions to heal you. I would have died. I'm so poisoned. All right. You're poisoned from what? From the magic. <laughs> I got poisoned earlier, mm -hmm. much earlier. That's what downed me was the poison. 
Oh, I don't remember this. Well, I gotta cast a Suna and try to cure this poison. <laughs> no, th there's no chance to cure with the Suna. It ah. just gets rid of the ailments. Well, there goes that. I'm gonna plop out a shield. And that's so it. My one handed sword that's been neglected all this time. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor sword, give it some attention. And I'm just gonna want to flex myself. Also, I'm sitting at 168 defense. If all my puffs gone, by the way, Riku. Okay. Three turns. Also, I lost track of all the debuffs because. It's been two weeks. I don't know which world was which. All I know is one was nine turns, and, and I think that's what's the poison one. <laughs> it's irrelevant now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're cured after two weeks. <laughs> and the rest was like four to five turns, and I don't remember which is which. You had... I had like a debuff in, in defense, decrease in speed, take more magical damage, as I remember, I've got all the turn stuff. Uh, they were twenty percent each. I mean, I still have all the facts on my sheet. Oh, was it twenty percent magic? Because you have to keep track of that one. Yeah. <laughs> I just forgot how long they last, or uh, how much turn they have left. To be correct. I'll have to listen back to the recording, but I'm pretty sure they were like four turns. That's... Though for convenience sake, let's just cut it down to three. Well, most of those was cast on the first turn. So it depends what turn it is right now. Because one turn flew by. I think another flew by as I down myself. Yeah. But... As I defend, yes. I think that's all most of my actions. Okay. <clears throat> Tear is going to. She's going to use a copycat version of the spell that Fiend used to try and go first. Or to try to steal uh, Yashua's turn. She failed. Alright, Yashua, you're up. You dare steal my turn? <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm too good looking. Alright. I'm gonna use Libra. On, on both of them. You can only use Libra on one person at a time. Well, yeah. Isn't like a... Oh, oh you're using action two actions. Libra? Okay. Alright. I misunderstood. I got you. Alright. I wish I could play D&D with the PlayStation controller. Oh, that'd be so cool. Speaking of, did you hear that we're getting a D&D game? Like, a legit D&D game on 
on was it like different platforms mm -hmm. i'm actually what curious what that game is called out of curiosity uh let me see I think it was called Dark Alliance. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Comes out in June. June 22nd. For PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC. Actually, I actually want to give that a try. Off for now, AIs in games, especially in D and D, aren't the nicest. Yeah, but this one looks really nice. I meant more so AIs would target you if you're low HP, as most game does. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. That's what I said. Aren't the nicest. Hmm. I gotta send this to my DMs. Rico, I'm so sorry. I'm making you type a lot. <laughs> no, you're good. It, it would have been hilarious that you like spent like two minutes typing everything down and, and all I get was a bunch of question marks. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. All you would get from Yasha was a cynical poker face. will be like, really? <laughs> I wonder which more of her from. Alright, that's Tears information. I'm gonna type Fiends. Um, so it's like, no, I'm reading through the Dark Alliance thing. It looks like it uses a specific book. Better to use multiple heroes from different books, but who knows. Huh, you could disarm her. I didn't know you could do that. What? Be right back. Okay.
love when people ignore the blatant sign I put on the wall. Anyway, back to typing. God, I want the entire Mega Dimension games on my PS4. Oh, that'd be great. Like, I haven't played the original ones because they're on the PS3. And I have no PS3. I was an Xbox kid.
All right, there you go. Would have had that typed up earlier had I not been disrupted. Okay. So this is what we're dealing with. All right. Ice, how's your HP? It's full of heat. Okay, good. I'm gonna use Shining Ward on you. Is it about life? No. Okay, so two turns left. I will attack. I'm always getting those two confused. This one was Tear, right? That's Fiend. Oh, that's yes. Fiend. Okay. It's appropriate color. I'm falling over a second top of for this. I have two on me right now. I have five. Alright, I'm attacking Fiend. Okay. This one and armor piercing. left with the barrier it has the bear the fiends barrier basically has a 8 8k left on it all right <laughs> now for now pull her sheet up hmm I am going to have her use that. All right, uh, Ice, what's your maximum HP? 1729. Yeah, because that's the amount of shield you have. I know. That's why I was on a second calculator right now. <laughs> I'm going to have her use that twice. That's the one, two, three. Okay, so tier has minus five accuracy or well, minus one speed when attacking Mel. Use those two attacks, three actions left. Whatever you use. Oh, a crit. All right. And then the last one, third eye, and then gonna defend. Alright, time to do math. <laughs> My favorite.
Ooh, that was almost a thousand damage. All right. Eight sixteen specifically. All right. All right, Tears Barrier is just about broken. I swipe the other back. It's not, it is the lady's turn. And. Please be gentle. <laughs> Please be gentle. <laughs> uh, Fiend is going to switch. From her crystal sniper to a, a bladed shotgun, and she is going to just dump a shot right in the mail and force her backwards. So let's go. Let's go to see if she can hit first. Not hitting. All right, and then she's going to attempt. She's gonna do that again, but this time we're going to aim the gun at the ground and use it to propel herself upwards into the air. And then she's going to do it again to create some backwards momentum and put herself a little bit behind here. Making some space. Yasha is like r r taking notes as he observes. <laughs> uh. hey, Yasha is a sniper. He he doesn't use shotguns very often, so he's all like, hmm, interesting. Uh, I like going back to a backflip. Yeah, she's going to reach in her back pocket. As she draws her sniper again, and she's going to, she's going to change ammunition, and she is going to take aim at Yashua, and that is her turn. Oh, she's taking aim. Okay. Yep. And then here, she is going to. She is going to shift her elemental style to thunder and the giant crystal glowing at the edge of her weapon is now a very threatening looking yellow. And she will... <clears throat> hmm. She is going to charge. She's going to charge Thunder 4, but she isn't going to cast it. Wow. <clears throat> At the same time, as she does that, uh, she is going to cast Float on herself. So we're going to see how long this float is going to last. Oh boy. Last quite a while. All right, ten turns. Let's go. <laughs> I just imagine something hilarious when you say casting flow. It's gonna last for ten turns. I just fucking remember that fucking skit from a G mod video. Get the fuck down from there. <laughs> and as as she's charging Thunder Four. She's going to shift elemental styles to fire, and the crystal is going to turn red. She's going to combine her fire four and thunder four into a uh, pretty threatening looking spell. And she is going to target ice. First, we need to roll to see if this even hits.
I switch to speed again. Let's see my new one. I'm not sure if I decrease speed of this one. I think I need to. So give me two seconds to calculate this. 227. Okay. Mm. That's not going to hit. So, as she is charging the spell, she changes her mind about aiming it right at you, and she stabs her staff into the ground and lets loose the spell in the directions of Mel and Yashua. And as she put it in the ground and released the spell, the spell is acting like an AoE. So, I'm going to do the combined roles for both spells. Give me a moment. Mel is neither on fire, or Mel is neither burning or uh, paralyzed. Uh, Yashua, can you roll your debuff resist? It's just uh, 1D and then whatever the number is. Oh, uh, let me see. Debuff resist is what charm? No, on your stat sheet, on the right, right. side, where you scroll down to like your attack oh, okay. and all that is, yeah. All right, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Uh, how do you do this again? Slash R. Mm -hmm. And then one D, and then the number. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Believe. I got. I wait, wait. Yeah, that roll was a D one. Yeah. With a twenty seven next to it. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, slash. Unless right. that roll looks supposed odd. To, it's supposed to like that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, look at this one. It is, it is that roll gave me cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You two are neither uh, burned or paralyzed. But because it was an AoE, you still take damage from that. So, do you remember how AoE damage works? No. Mm, it's been a hot minute. Okay, so... The way AOE's work is that uh, you get hit no matter what. However, both your defense and your speed are subtracted from the damage. I Alongside any AC bonuses and whatnot. Uh, I'm curious now. I'm off to the real book to realize speed was a factor. <laughs> So how much uh, I negative don't, enough? I don't have your sheet up, so I don't know what your defenses and speed are off the top of my head right now. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, 
so Mel is taking 171 points of damage. Good, so I can keep things moving. I'm taking the damage as well. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Good. Okay. Forty-three. Is that the damage for it? The AOE? Yeah. Okay. Uh, four ninety-three. Sorry. Uh, so it's speed subtraction minus defense and then AC, right? Yep. I need another calculator. Oh, that reminds me, Riku. What do you define tier 3? Tier 3 magic? No, it's just a general tier 3 because you just slapped tier 3 oh, in the well, revenge. If you, go, if you go to the uh, spell list in the rule book, <coughs> anything past a spell with, with GA after it, GA is tier 3. Everything after that is tier 4, 5, and 6. I was curious. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that adjustment uh, later. Because, you know, I haven't been looking much at spells to begin with. Right. And oh, my lack of Final Fantasy knowledge. <laughs> right. It's all good. But yeah. No, I assumed I wasn't able to reflect this one. But I'm not sure. Nah. And do the whole model calculation for damage now. What's that? I need another calculator. Sorry? So, are you good? Uh, somewhat. Oh, I still don't know what I'm doing here. You told me that it was an AoE, so I lose, I don't know, defense and attack and speed or something like that? No, you it's get hit, but the damage, you do, you subtract damage roll, right? You take your defense, mm -hmm. you take your speed, all that is subtracted from that. And then whatever AC bonus is also subtracted from that, and you take damage equal to whatever that comes out to be. Fuck. Yeah, but I don't know how much damage I'm taking here. You pull your sheet up. Taking 185 points of damage. Because you take the 493, you subtract the 142 and the 148. 
And when you take 9% off that, rounding up, it comes up to 185. Does the AOE attack go through the the barrier? Does it go through the barrier or does it hit the barrier? I'm asking if it if it hits the character. Like does it bypass the barrier? Well, because she stuck her staff into the ground and released it that way, yes. Because Shining Ward only covers things that are above ground, it doesn't can it doesn't cover things that are below ground. Okay, I'm, up, I'm up. good to move on? Yep. Alright. So, with that action having taken place, a tear, she takes her weapon back out of the ground, and she shifts elemental styles to uh, ice. And she she spins her her staff in front of her, and you can see a very thin veil of snow form around Tyr's body. And that is her turn. Ice, it is your turn again. Hmm. As I contemplate life, am I really about to disrespect these two? What the hell are you about to do this time? I already told you what I wanted to do last time, but I didn't do it just because. <laughs> well, I'm gonna move my way over here. <laughs> Put away my little fucking one-handed two oh, fucking one-handed sword that's gonna be neglected still. I am gonna grab team te Are tears. You dive what? bomb thing again? No, I'm just grabbing her leg. Grab she can't it. resist because she's floating. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. And then I'm gonna proceed to use her as a weapon and slap her into fiend. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> okay. It's one of those instances when you beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> I love your way of thinking. Okay. As a reaction to you grabbing her freaking leg... I'm surprised I didn't roll athletics check for this. <laughs> well, you're about to. Okay. As a reaction to... Uh, you grabbing her leg, she is going to make a, a an ice blade at the tip of her staff. She's going to swing it at you. Roll athletics to dodge. Okay. That's a you two dodge? on the die. Huh? That's a two on the die. It, yeah, it was. But... You, you move your head at the last possible moment and escape getting a free haircut, but 
your grip loosens a little bit on her leg and she is then going she's going to point her staff like right at your face and she is going to <clears throat> there's one she, heck of a reaction excuse me. and she is then going to create a really bright light in your face and she is going to attempt to use that to f words flee and she failed well i got one action and do it the next reasonable thing reach behind me for fiend <laughs> I, j I just want you to know that you are literally in front of her sniper rifle. Yes. You bite a bullet. But she wasn't even aimed at me to begin with. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It wasn't, but it is now. It's like I'll take the boat to the chest. It is dead center in your back. Well, it's going to go through your chest if you're happy about that. I am. Okay, uh, as a reaction to you being right in front of her and then grabbing Tear the way that you are, uh, she's just gonna fire the round that was not designated for you. <gasps> Excuse me. What happened when something gets fired inside the uh, ward? Something just fired inside the ward. Yes. Uh, you still take the hit, like okay. regular HP damage. So I know in the future, ward is somewhat useless. That's I don't stay range. <laughs> yeah, but they take damage if they're inside the ward. That's mm -hmm. why I gave it to you. It's a good thing I didn't take ward. That's my thing. Going to have to roll this as a crit too. That means he definitely completes mine. <laughs> well, you sure did just take 737 points of damage. Now, uh, the question is what is deemed tier 3 in melee attacks? <laughs> There is no tier of melee attacks. So I'm gonna use my reaction to reflect that. Okay. I'm off to go look at this thing and watch myself die, most likely. Are you ready to see me go down again, Riku? I'm so lucky that wasn't a three, because I would go down. <laughs> <laughs> God, I was reading. I remember it's something about half damage or something. Mm -hmm. So I reflect half and took half. It was all worth in the end. Because <laughs> that would have been painful. Right, so reflecting that back on her, she takes 369 points of damage. But. What was the total? So I could half that and do up my whole map. 737 or it's actually 736.5 but I rounded up okay. come on me outside me doing math over here that's fine. Now, because you took such a heavy upfront shot at point blank range, 
uh, whatever you were planning to do with Tear, you wind up letting go from the shock of the bullet in your back. Well, third time's a charm. Motherfuck. Okay. <laughs> so who are you grabbing this time? The fiend. Still. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me two seconds. I'm over here doing mad still. I think I need to make a check. Uh, well, because she 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 used her sniper reaction to rescue Tear. Uh, how are you grabbing Fiend? Well, the fact that I'm reaching back, I would assume that she does. I'm assuming she wears a clothes and assumingly a shirt as well. Uh, oh jeez. If you end up tearing her shirt, I'm gonna laugh. She's wearing a, a jacket, if that means anything to you. Oh, well, it would have been loose fabric. You know how people grab, like, clothes and just fling a person, essentially? Because I'm not grabbing her neck, because I always try not to, because motherly reasons. <laughs> that and, like, you'd have to reach pretty far back, because you still have the barrel of a sniper in your back. True. I could just grab the barrel of the sniper and just use her at the end of the stick. That's what I'm gonna do now. First thing I come in contact. Would have been the sniper by default. I didn't realize how long the sniper was. And I would have just used the sniper rifle as equivalent of a hammer with her being a hammer if she doesn't let go. Just sniper rifle. It's long. Uh, Not all rifle sniper rifles are that long. Uh, she she's going to let go of the sniper, but uh, the moment she does and it's in your hand and you start to swing it, uh, you feel a tug on the sniper itself, and you look, you just crane your head backwards ever so slightly, and you can see that it is magically tethered to her. Interesting. Enterprise just doesn't get tucked forward. Magic. <laughs> I would never understand the full functions. You know, funny thing, I was actually planning to do something similar with Yasha, but with like an iron cord. Or just magnets. Huh. As I look at this, transaction is like interesting. If you want to try to pull her, you can do a strength check. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm about a fishing rod, hey? <sighs> <I'm> about... <laughs> oh, look. Welcome. Hello. Oh, they got stuck filming. It's okay. What matters is that you're here. Hello. <gasps> okay. Hello. So, you do that. You, 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 you pull on basically her and the sniper. And I'm gonna have her do a strength roll back. Oh, that's a bro. To find out how strong the sniper is. Alright, she. She is pulled ever so slightly towards you. But not by much. Oh. That's a present. Fifty-four didn't pull her more. Then again, that is a twenty-eight. Yeah, she she rolled over over half of her basically. Also, because you are currently engaged in a tug of war, you can't move. Uh, I'm okay with this. I have two more actions. <laughs> oh, you psycho! <laughs> it's exactly what's going to happen until she becomes a flail. Oh my god. I mean, she's safe. She has a tether. It's not like I'm doing it with a piece of rope. It's a magical tether. It won't break. Not that I know of. Mm. 
And if she did go flinged off the island, I would actually go get her. Mm. Well, I'm going to proceed this, with this tug of war now for this remainder two turns, Riku. I hope you know that. Okay. <laughs> she pulls you. <laughs> oh, shit. And she, uh... She's slowly rolling lower and lower. She makes a little bit of progress to getting her damn gun back. The second row. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I just got lower and she went higher. <laughs> this is my luck today. So at this point, she, uh... Basically... One, one more high roll from her, and she's getting her gun back, or her sniper back, because you still have plenty of other weapons. True. And... Well, time to defend with my shield, with the other arm. Because <laughs> that was all my turns. Yashua, uh, uh, it is your turn, and... Mel, you currently have third eye active for uh, two more turns. Mm hmm. Alright. Gonna target a. Uh... Fiend. Okay. And. That crit though. And my turn while defending. I should have gave Mel a shield. Shit. Speaking of, how you doing, Poker? Pretty good. Just finished filming. Go home. And popped in here. How are you? I'm doing great. I have to catch up on Eden Zero. I haven't seen we last have week's to. episode. Me neither. I've been waiting. Oh, bestie! Alright. <laughs> We're gonna have a marathon together then. Do you? If you're down for it, that is, because I don't know how much time you'll have after. I need to watch a movie after. Oh, what movie? Um, it's called Kfarnohum. It's it's a project that I need to not project, but I need to watch a film to write an essay about. Ah. Uh -huh. It's like two thousand word essay about like theory. It's a theory essay. You said you were shooting at Fane, right? Yep. Alright. Okay. Uh, that was one thousand one hundred and twelve damage. To what is left of her bubble shield. All right. Uh, now it is your turn. Hmm. What am I supposed to be attacking? What do you mean? Hmm. You see our two buddies over there? Yep. Stab them. <laughs> oh. Damn, what did they do? 
No, nothing. We're just uh, sparring, you're, friendly you're spar. You're still in the fight from. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. I love Let's your reaction. Damn, what did they do? <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna use a nice um, combo over here. I want to use double slash, and in the process, I want to attack both of them with prison katana. So that's Did one. The... Yeah, that might be going through me. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> Riku. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, what you missed. Uh... So Ice tried to grab Tear and use her as a weapon against Fiend. He got, <laughs> he got hit so hard that he wound up letting go. And he's currently in a tug of war fight with Fiend. And Tear is uh, floating above the ground right now. Mm, she's, not like, gonna... she's not like sky high or anything. She's literally just not standing on the physical ground. I think Parker was referring to Plasma Blade. The fact that she's still alive. <laughs> Yeah, I can't double slash the in fact, it might. I'm gonna, have... I'm gonna ignore that one. We're gonna ignore that one. I'm gonna go for prison katana on both of them, and then flash freeze slash on both of them. So, whoop, whoop, and then smack, smack, and let's see here. Is it possible that I can use double slash but not hit ice? Uh, it says select up to two targets and then bounce between them. Yeah, yeah okay, I should be okay. To, uh, what do you call it? The prison blast. You, I, I won't, I won't, I won't prison beam you. Yeah, that would probably be <laughs> okay now. Okay. So you used, so you used double slash on both ladies. Yes. Okay. Then I proceeded with Prism Katana on both, and Flash Freeze on both. Okay, you're gonna have to rework that, because that requires you to move between targets. And only one of those allows you to do that. So, okay. Yeah. What I, what I meant to say at the start, I'll use Double Slash. But in the process, I go in, I hit T with Prism Katana, then dash onto Fiend and hit them with Prism Katana. Then I use Double Slash backwards again and hit Fiend with Flash Freeze and then Tear with Flash Freeze. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yes. Damn, Virgil. <laughs> Riku, you weren't kidding. Yeah. I'm in the goddamn air. Devil may cry, no, fucking devils will cry. Okay, so after all that bath, uh, you pretty much deal equal damage to both of them, resulting in uh, Tears Bubble Shield being completely broken now. So <laughs> that goes to zero. So. <laughs> so. Right. Our bubble Shield is gone. That was the wrong button. And then. Oh, that is the wrong number. Put a four there. Okay. Minus.
Okay. Yeah, uh, and after uh, all of that, uh, I don't even have to do the math for it to to get full of the break energy now. All of us or just uh, Mel? Mel. What did I do? You did enough damage to where you're at full limit break energy because when that I so when I ran your turn earlier, uh, you wound up sending yourself to 84. Oh shit, bitch! What did you do? Uh, attacks. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, when I when I ran your attacks, uh, you, you also got a crit, so that helped out too. So I'll use my. I'm pretty sure I want to use my LB after. You can do that on your next turn if you want. Yeah. Ugh. I don't have any more attacks. Nope. Not after all that bouncing and weaving you just did. No whoosh. I was in the sky the whole entire time. For a split second, while I was doing my finishing blow, not really my finishing blow, but my, my last attack, there was like, the moon. <laughs> I, was, I was in the middle of the moon. You know when anime does that shit? When like, they have like, like, like a high angle of a character, but they're like, the moon is behind them and they're in the middle of the moon and they just kind of slash down. Yeah, that's a lot. That's what I look like. Okay. That's what I was like. Uh, I'm gonna do something there. Alright, uh, Fiona is going to continue her tug of war fight. Alright, now for that, uh, she has a sniper rifle back. I don't get a roll. <laughs> I mean, you can, but. Not really turn. Oh, do I have like a reaction as she did to my polling? That's what I was referring to. Okay, so we're gonna redo that then. Let's look at this. Okay, she doesn't have a sniper rifle back. It's so flashy. Um, but instead, she is going to reach in her back pocket and pull out a very menacing looking handgun that has three barrels coming out of it. I have set my fate. And she is going to shoot at, at the lower right side of your stomach. And because she is... Because you two are engaged in a manner where neither of you can dodge, this is just going to hit you. Look back at her for 240. Okay, so with the single hand, uh, she manages to change whatever ammunition type 
was in her gun. And the gun she had in a free hand. And this time, she is going to fire at your feet. And what comes out of the gun, and when it hits the ground on your feet, has such a high frequency impact that you need to roll. Mm. You need to roll constitution in order to avoid being knocked off your feet. I guess it would be considered a constitution save, huh? Usually with thunder, yeah. Yeah. I think thunder related. Okay, you don't get knocked on your ass, but you do stagger just a little bit. And then she is going to do the same for herself and willingly propel herself into the air, taking you along with her. Huh. And neat. And while they are airborne, she is going to shoot again, but this time spin while doing so to literally throw you across the map. Not off the island, but across the map. Bye, bitch. I'm surprised she has arms. That would have... <laughs> it would be like fucking Super Smash Brothers gets tossed off the ring. Game! <laughs> Game! Was her <laughs> blasting me and herself with a gun a single turn? A single action? Say that again? Was her blasting me and, the, and herself with a gun a single action? No, her shooting you was a separate action, and her shooting the ground below her is a separate action. Uh oh. I was just keeping track because the first two poles would have been kind of as two turns, wouldn't it? Yeah. She shot me in the lower left stomach. She oh. blasted my feet, and she blasted herself. Yeah. That would count for five turns. Well, re we redid the first pull because you wanted a reaction. Oh chance. right, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I didn't realize we redid it all together. <laughs> That's why I came up with another turn. My bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I believe I'm being flinked. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right. You wind up right next to Josh. Uh, not Josh, but Joshua. After being flung like that. This is my life now. I am safe. In two bubbles. <laughs> Yashua <laughs> just looks where you landed. Did you have fun? Fine and dandy and safe. Something I need to do in my other campaign is tether my stuff to myself. That being said, that is Fiend's turn. Now it is Tear's turn. She is going to. We're gonna shift elemental styles again. This time she is going to switch to fire. <gasps> again, excuse me. And the crystal on her staff is going to become an immensely bright red. And she's going to ignite it. And the tip of the, the tip of the staff gains a flame blade. And she is going to swing at Mel. Pardon me. And this this is considered a melee attack by the process of the action. Can I use third eye before that happens? Third eye is already active, and that's not a reaction or a counter. Pain. Do I have any counters? Yes, no, you I have don't. a counter. I do? What the fuck's my counter? <sighs> it's slap shot. 
the thing I gave you weeks before that I gave everybody a counter. Found it. Okay, how do I do? I have I do also, I have it on my thing? I made adjustments to it last night. Uh, Let's go into the Final Fantasy D and D uh, chat to see it. I know where it is for medical reasons. I don't think I have it like as a casting thing. You think? It just funny. me. Fuck it, hit me. Just hits me. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I can't use it because I don't have the attack. I mean, I have slab shot, but I can't use it. Yes, you can. Cause I don't have it as a thingy thing that I can just like womp, you know. I mean, I use revenge, yes, and I don't have it saved. Where it's, is it? It's on your features and traits thing, but you don't have okay. the edited one in there. So. Yes, that's what I meant to say. You can just copy paste that. Um, it's, I need to roll I'm, I'm just one D. Doing it for you anyway. <laughs> Pain. Oh, it's one D four now. Okay. Well, bro, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay. We're all having bad rolls today. Don't worry. That just murdered me. Okay, you're taking. Okay, so that damage roll comes out to two hundred and thirty-three. That was painful. However, applying your defenses and all that stuff. You're, you're only taking 50 damage from that. Uh huh, baby. Let's go. Oh shit, wait. There we go. <laughs> Next attack. She is going to cast. Do, 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 do. She's gonna cast Hastega on herself, and because her and Fiend share a speed stat, their speed is back at 100, and they have an additional action. For seven turns. She, not neither of them are faster than either of you, but it is now ever so slightly easier for them to hit. With that being said, uh, she tier is going to do the same. Uh, fire swing at Mel again. Bro, can I counter it again? Yeah. I swear to God. You can. You. There you go. Y'all can bitch. use y'all counters. Fuck you. Per attack that applies to it. So like. I'm, if, can, I'm reflecting the damage. Hold on, let me finish. So if you get hit with four different melee attacks, or whatever thing triggers your counter, you can use your counter four times. That, that's mm -hmm. how I have them set up in this. Now I have to roll what the damage would have been. Crazy. Well, Poker, since we live in this kind of world, you could get yourself a lightsaber, maybe. <clears throat> <laughs> there, there are no lightsabers in this campaign, I'm telling you that right now. Plus, lightsabers won't go with my aesthetic. Sadly. Well, you could maybe get a high frequency katana. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Riku put one in the campaign. Raiden's katana or Sam's katana or something similar. Not answering that. See? Knowing him, he probably has one in there. 
Alright, and Tear is currently bleeding from that. that was Damn. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. She has three actions left. No, two actions left, because she's haste. I'll stay good. Uh, she is going to. She's going to look over the fiend. She is going to disengage the bubble spell, but the excess. What was left of the bubble spell is going to be added to fiend, uh, Fiend's current health. So Fiend is back at full HP. And then on her last action, that snow veil that was around uh, Tear expands and it is now covering Mel and Tear. And Mel, as long as you remain within melee range of Tear, you have minus 10 speed and minus 5 crit. So as long as I'm in melee range? Bitches. Yes. Okay, say less. I already have one. Okay, I know what to do. So Fiend, because she now has uh, six actions to deal with, she is going to do what she originally intended to do earlier, which was take aim at Yashua with her crystal sniper. Mm -hmm. And as she takes aim, you can see that the barrel of the gun is beginning to glow from the inside and she has this really confident smirk on her face and whew, she is going to let loose whatever demon is inside that thing but before I do that I have to roll to hit This is gonna hit you. All right. Uh, so your shining ward HP is now at five forty three. Five forty three. All right. Yep. And then she's going to switch weapons. No, no, she she's not going to switch weapons in in the traditional sense. She is going to attach that gun, that hand handgun she had earlier, to her sniper rifle and add it to that. Hall. <laughs> so that was two actions, and then she's going to take another handgun. And add it to that, and she currently has a three-in-one gun set up at the moment. So it's action number three, and then she is going to aim it at both Ice and Yashua. Just gonna to hit, but the the majority of the attack is going towards Yashua. All right, that's a hit. Yes. Oh, that was a wrong number. Oh, 
Okay, so Yashua, your Shining Ward is broken. I just, how much health does yours have? Yeah, it's yet to take damage till now. <laughs> okay. Seventeen twenty-nine. Okay. So all the damage that was given to me was all point blank. So. So your Shining Ward's HP dropped to eight sixty. And then for her fifth action, uh, she's gonna she's gonna throw an MP potion at Tears direction, and she's back at full H, uh, not full HP, full MP. He was about to say. Yeah. Never <laughs> gonna be like bitch. And then for Fiend's last action, she is going to. She's going to begin charging her gun again. And Ice, it is now your turn. And with that, I believe by your rules at the start, on the debuffs the gun, but still it's my muscle flex at the same time. Yes. I need to revert all my stat back to what it was now. Oh, I gotta do the old good old muscle flex again. Where's my MP calculator? That's HP. Hmm. I have a question, Riku. And I have a potential answer. <laughs> you, you, this <laughs> one is an easier uh, question. This that one does the screen ones. So if I was to use a essentially a bow with a spark strike or strikes badge still apply to them or strike skill, let me rephrase that. If you activate the ability, yes. Noted. I'm gonna become a range just like Joshua. I'm gonna put away my shield, pull out the flame duck, and turn it into a bow. <laughs> okay. Now the question is, does it take an action to turn it into a bow? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna Cast Spark Strike, which leaves me two turns. Yeah, two turns. And I'm just gonna shoot. Yeah, sure, I just raises an eyebrow when you do all that. I almost said the wrong name. I shoot Fiend. Or Tear. That's what I was, Tear. Or is it Fiend? Which one? This one. That's Tear. Okay. I'm sure I get a Fiend from. Oh, because that's her name. Oh, my am going to Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. And then defend. I really need to get a command to roll both at the same time. We're really saving my ass time. <laughs> I need to test the micro slider. Okay. Come on, that that's for me later when calculating proficiencies. Okay. That's why I accidentally put it into two hand. Oh, well, damn it would be. But yeah, that's my turn. I defend. Almost done. That is... Taking the one thousand twenty seven damage. I was figuring out whether or not I had a range weapon, and then I remembered I had the best range weapon of them all <laughs> in disguise.
Alright. Yashua, you turn. Yashua just looks at Ice's bow and just scoffs how primitive. Alright. My page won't freaking go up. Give me a second. I was say, there was a way to fix it. I, I forgot how that. Where are you not working? Okay, there you go. So I feel naked with all my shields, so I'm gonna recast it. <laughs> <laughs> Aiming my weapons at theme. And end and end in defense. Okay. No. Insert Halo energy shield sound effect here. Six hundred eighteen points of damage. Damage. All right. Gonna wait for Mel to get back. Cause she had to go be B. Heard it.
Okay, I know how I'm going to do that. Oh, my, what you're about to see. I'm testing a micro. Testing a what? Micro. But it doesn't work, apparently. So it's just... Oh, just because I forgot to do one thing. That's unfortunate. There we are. I made a macro for me to cast the bow. Plus, whatchamacallit, Spark Strike that. <laughs> spark Strike. That it is your turn. Lovely. I want to use my Limit Break. Oh, uh, wait. Before you do that, uh, because you're la you last used Slap Shot, uh, if you read it, the, your next attack is automatic crit. Uh, I want to use my Limit Break. <laughs> okay. So my number breaks a crit. Yeah. Say less. How do I... How do I roll the numbers of my limit break? Top of my head, so let me type it out. And for everyone else's sake, uh, Samurai Limb Break is a 4d20 plus 1 fourth attack plus 1 fourth speed rolled eight times. So, this up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. You got one, here, press that. Okay, that was a whopping 1,647 damage. Well, wow. That's a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. And with that, please set your limit break energy to zero, and you have four actions left. Okay. Um... With this information... Zero. I am in melee range, which means that I will spend an action going away <laughs> from melee range, and I will use. Let's see here. I will use prism beam twice. How the fuck does that happen? 
<laughs> Jesus. Okay. It's okay. I don't mind. It's fine. I'm fine. Sniffs. I'm fine. <laughs> it's okay. What element did you have active on your weapon again? Um... Blizzardia. Before I do the damage, gonna roll the dice. <laughs> Bro. Just so happens that you managed to knock down her blizzard resistance and she's also in her fire mode, so that's even more bonus damage. Fuck yeah, for. I fucked up anyway, so it's okay. It's <laughs> Okay, so because you knocked her blizzard resistance down, that she was already currently weak to blizzard magic, uh, that was 414 points of damage. Not too bad. She currently has a minus 50 uh, blizzard resist. Oh. Oh. Two actions left. Mm. I do. Um, I can't really do anything much except Prison Beam is my only ranged, other than Platinum Bullet, but Prison Beam does give me more benefits. Click. Ah, oh! The crit though. Okay. Nice. So I'll do two of them. Alright, her fire resist is going down. Well, you did that twice. Damn. Do that again. Damn. Okay. Fuck you, bitch. So, so because she's in the fire mode, she already had uh, bonus damage from ice. And because her blizzard resist went down twice, she now, as long as she remains in fire mode, she's taking a an extra 150 points of ice blizzard damage. So this is gorgeous for me. Uh, Six hundred and ninety-eight points of damage. Okay. Hot diggity. All right, and those are all of your actions. Nice. Okay. So. After getting hit that damn hard, Tear is going to cancel her elemental stance, and she is going to plant her staff in the ground in front of her, and... She's going to look over to Fane, and Fane looks at her like, what What are you about to do? And her hands begin to glow. Oh. And here, damn near yanks her staff out of the ground, 
and she casts Overdrive on herself. And uh, she has effectively entered her own, by force, she has entered burst mode. Oh. Maximum Bitch. Overdrive. I swear. This is a very daddy chill moment. It's a major bra moment for me. And because she is in burst mode, uh, she is going to she is going to activate an ability unique to her called Universal Blessing. And she is going to increase her attack by 50%. Hmm? Right. And she is going to cast a she's going move. She's going to cast a holy directly above where ice is standing. And she is also going to cast Holy as an AoE. So Ooh, sheesh. Uh, I need all of you. Well. I need all of you to roll whatever your debuff resist is, and you need to roll pretty high Five to years. avoid being blinded. Even though I oh. have written holy will inflict the blind and give you all a chance to resist that. What's the debuff okay. resist? If you open your sheet, you mm -hmm. scroll down to where you're- Found it! Yep, there you go. Just type r slash 1d, whatever that number is. Quick, quick, quick. Do you remember what I was debuffed by? I have an additional 41 here. I don't know what it belongs to. Condition of what? 41. There's 215, which is my original speed, and then below is, two, is 41. I was like, 41? What is this 2? What did you debuff my stat by? I know you did speed. I know you did defense. Twenty percent. Okay, what are gonna do? Point right roll. One D. Just to see what happens. I'm assuming holy is one spell I can't reflect back. No. I thought so. This is about the name alone. <laughs> Blinded. Ugh, okay, so for your next attack, all of you, you need to roll a 1d2 to see if so, it, to, to, to just see if it hits or not. Really cute. Huh? I have to see a necklace. <clears throat> Blind is known. I did. I didn't hear you over. Uh, poker rolling when she shouldn't have to be rolling in that size. Say that again. So I have the obsidian necklace. Yes. Not the blind of it is as blinds no. Okay, well, you're not blinded then. Thank God, my eyes are perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have really sensitive eyes, and I'm all like, fuck. <laughs> my eyes are just. Oh. I found cannon in handy. Uh, oh, there's that blind part. And then for her next attack, she is going to... <clears throat> oh, shit. Excuse me. Uh, she is going to cast Glare, but she's going to fire it like a beam instead of a projectile. And her 
target will be Mel. I'm gonna roll a 1d4 on this bitch. Oh, you can't reflect magic. Why? You can only counter melee attacks. Can I absorb it? <laughs> like last time? Can I absorb it in, in my sword like last time? Uh, you can, however... Let me, let, me, let me type out the damage first before I continue on what I'm about to say. Oh, side note. Holy. It, does it pop into existence or is it called down on us? Uh, it That's is. It's an important question because the shield ward. Uh, it pops into existence. Like, you see a ball of white uh, okay. come up above you and then it just booms. Then I need to do damage calculation. Oh, I should have done it to begin with. But... Let's see. Okay. Now, if you want to absorb this, you first, because you are blinded, if you can't see, you gotta roll a 1d2. <sighs> oh. Okay. Now, if I remember right, last time I had you roll some shit like, uh... I think I had you roll athletics, dexterity, and some other thing, but I need you to roll athletics, dexterity, not a dexterity save, just regular dexterity, <laughs> and uh, roll survival. Don't mind that roll, that was full muscle flex. I forgot to roll it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Parker, you are the luckiest woman on the planet because you rolled one over what I needed you to roll for that to succeed. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Alright. So, you absorb the spell into your weapon, and uh -huh. let's say for. Okay, so for four turns, your weapon is infused with holy element. Hmm. Okay, and then pause. <gasps> I may have dropped Mocha on myself. Good job. Thanks. Fuck me. Okay, she has three actions left. She... Fuck me again. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> uh, she is going to cast a spell called Shatter. And she is going to disable uh, Yashua's and Isis' Shining Ward. Two left. And then... I don't care, I'll recast it after. <laughs> uh, uh, I put that to zero. You won't be recasting because I wasn't done. Wait, it won't let me put down to zero. Why? Uh, what the hell? She is going. <clears throat> She is going to summon vines under Yashua's feet, and these vines, they don't do any damage, however, they do prevent you from using a, a, a random white magic. <gasps> Excuse me. So, Uno Mementio. Uh, 
Alright, for one turn, yes, you, are, you cannot use Shining Word. And then for her last action, uh, she is going to cast her Limit Break. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> To do mine now. Wait, I I used Libra on them, so I don't remember seeing their health bars. I I think it's an error again of it not showing for us. Wait, have, have yeah, y'all not be. been able to see them this whole time? No, yeah. uh, I thought y'all yeah. could see them. Except I'm just used to not seeing HP bars, so that's why I didn't say anything. Oh. Okay, there's one. Oh, we barely damaged this one back here. Oh my goodness. I thought y'all could see that the whole time. It's because of uh, Bubble. They had originally 30k behind them. Yeah. God, this is a long ass boss fight. I usually have zero tolerance for these kinds of boss fights, but since it's DND, I'm just like, this is fun. I, I, I got, I distracted myself, uh, Tarlimit Break, right, right, uh, fuck. He's the closest target in front of her. And all you have to hear in the background is not me. <laughs> not me. Uh, Mel, you're taking 707 points of... No, no, wait, 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 wait. You are taking 528 points of damage. Hundred and forty-eight. Five hundred and twenty. Oh. Damn. And that is the end of Phoenix. Uh, not Phoenix. The tears. First mode. She and. Uh, she is currently under the effects of Hypersoul, but it is now Fiend's turn, and Fiend is going to activate. She, she's going to release whatever the hell she was charging in her gun, or in her, in her four-in-one uh, sniper rifle, and she's gonna let it rip right at Yashua. Because she is not in burst mode, she has to roll to hit. And... Let me make sure I'm not getting my math wrong on this. That's not what I want to click. Oh, okay, yeah, that hits. All right, yep. Damn. Sheesh. I believe we need a doctor. Oh, right, some of us need a doctor. Um, is it a spell? No, she she's firing her gun. All right, I'm gonna use retaliate then. 
But I have to roll a D1, a D2, you said? Uh... Since I'm blinded? Yeah. Okay. Slash R, 1, D2. Alright. That is successful. Nice. I burned 20 bullets, but I get MP out of it. Forty percent of five nineteen is damn. That's how much I'm taking. Shit. Uh, you're taking three hundred and twelve damage from that. No, 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 no. She's, she's. You're you're taking, you're, you're taking the original number being five nineteen, but she's taking three twelve. Was what I meant to say the first time. Okay. Oh, okay. I changed it for you already. And then, uh, Finn, she's, she is going to take, she's going to take a bullet out of her pocket. Pardon? And... She is going to begin concentrating energy into that bullet, and as she's doing it, you can see these strange red glyphs, or tattoos, whatever you want to call them, appear on her body as they go into the bullet itself. Oh. And uh, her HP is dropping at an extremely fast rate. Mm. And Tyr is like, Hey, wait, calm, wait, wait, this, this is just a friendly fight. You don't have to use that. And Fiend's like, That's exactly why. If we want to see how strong they really get, they should be able to handle my little experiment. And as she does that, you can hear you can hear Ifrit cheering her on because Ifrit is just enjoying the fight. But Angela is like, "Hey, chill out with that." But it falls on deaf ears as Fiend loads the bullet into the sniper. And as it's doing that, her health drops by half. I'm trying to make that at some point. <laughs> God, it's God, it's it. It, it kind of looks like she used those uh, blood bullets from Bloodborne, where you just use your own blood and create a bullet. Well, that's more or less exactly what it is. <laughs> and uh, as she did that, she also she used a spell to basically hypercharge her eyesight and her accuracy and she is aiming right at ice this is a familiar feeling <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy she's naming it at me because I think that would potentially kill me now nah, he'll most likely just blow up Blow a hole in my torso. Oh, that's oh, that's a god. Oh, wait, not done yet. Uh... Okay, that that bullet that she fires is is her limit break 
and it Harlem Break is called Desperation Shot. Mm -hmm. And this bullet is going to completely ignore uh, defenses and AC. I see. It is just a raw ass attack. Questions, can I reflect it? No. Okay, I have to ask. Because, like I said, I'm sure it's theme tier three. And it seems like a physical thing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a bullet. But because it's, it's under the limit break category, I'm not letting you reflect this one. Not like I did. Plus, this is for bad. this is also for story purposes. Ah, uh, it's a sequence. Cannot ignore <laughs> story sequence. Okay, that's it. Damage is calculated. <laughs> okay, so as a result of getting hit by that, uh. It hits you with so much force that you are flung backwards into the uh, wall behind you. So you're about right here now. That's an odd thing to be flung back into. And I was set this. <laughs> and the the impact was so damn strong that it also knocked Yashua backwards into the air, and he smacks into this floating crystal. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Ice has his back to a wall. Uh, Wait, do I just smack on top of it, or just fall back on the ground? Like you fall back on the ground, and you're you, you're face first on the ground. Oof. And uh, yeah. it did it didn't hit Mel. However, uh -huh. it shot past her with so much energy and seemingly malicious intent behind it that you are quite shaken up by it. Oh dear. Like, like, you, like you saw it go energy. by and you slowly turn your head back towards her and you are like worried as shit for your own life right now. <laughs> like you're borderline about to start trembling where you stand because of how much raw power was behind that. After, <laughs> after you know, knowing them for so long, you, you didn't think, or didn't even bother to think that they were capable of doing something like that. Damn. And after that takes place, and both Angela and Ifrit step down from where they are, and they both declare this sparring session to have come to an end. Uh, this battle is not considered a victory because there was no clear winner in this. However, you do feel that you have gained some degree of experience and knowledge after this fight and I all of you huh that's what i get a free bullet with <laughs> uh, all of you increase your uh increase your constitution stat by two points and increase your um increase your magic attack your your basic magic attack by fifty. So I'm gonna type that out. Um, two. And as you want to do that, uh, Fiend is going to stagger a little bit after doing that wild ass attack from where she stands and she is very quickly uh, getting reprimanded by Ifrit and Angela for doing something so incredibly out of line as Angela says to her, <clears throat> Now, 
you know good and damn well you had absolutely no reason to be doing any kind of attack like that. Had you not been in the condition that you were in, you could have killed yourself. And Ifrit chimes in and she picks her she picks up fear by her jacket collar and she starts shouting at her numerous uh, different variations of that was really reckless. Why did you do that? It was it was just a friendly competition and I get that you wanted to see what they were really capable of, but Leave that to people like us, or me specifically. I'm an Esper. I can do stuff like that without my life being in jeopardy. You're just a regular mortal with a starting lifespan and a set lifespan. Stop doing shit like that. And then Infra puts her down, and then Tyr walks over and literally cracks her across the mouth with her staff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and Tyr starts to go on about <clears throat> Listen, I know that you can get a little too into a fight sometimes or get too into your research your weapons development and whatever and what have you but what did I say about using your experiment against our friends? I have told you time and time again to stop doing that. I don't care how badly you want to see your experiment work. I don't care how curious or inquisitive you get about figuring things out every time you do something like that you borderline kill yourself and you just keep doing it in the name of whatever you like to say how are you going to live out your dream of being a dancer and how are you going to support me and my music career if every time you get a little too excited, you damn... I ought to hit you with this damn staff again. And Fiend says, please don't, because that really hurt. And Fiend, she wipes the blood off the corner of her mouth and spits out the rest. And she admits, oh, okay, yeah, I I got a little too into it, and I, I I I apologize for that. It's just that they were they were putting up such 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 an amazing fight that well I I got a little too carried away, and plus if we were supposed to be testing them for what's to come. Why, why can't I, you know, break the rules a little bit and do our, and before Fiend finishes her sentence, Tyr covers her mouth and, and, and stops her from finishing whatever she was going to say. And, uh, Tyr's back is turned to you, and you can't hear her talk. But you can tell from the energy that she's giving off that she is, she is reminding her of something that should stay between them. And she's not entirely silent though. And so, uh, Mel, since you're the closest to them, if you would be willing, wait, 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 wait. Before I finish that, let me see something. Hmm. Give me a wisdom roll if you want to try to 
listen in on what Tear is saying to her. Pain. Pain. That Pain. combined... No, no, no. No, no. That okay. combined with your passive wisdom perception uh, lets you hear... lets you hear what she is saying. And because this is incredibly important, I'm going to type this out. Yashua just rolls over on his back and just stares at the sky. Just contemplating what the fuck just happened. I'm gonna get some food. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I have typed down what you managed to just barely overhear <laughs> but after after uh, Tyr says that she she turns to face the party and she puts she has a fiend stand in front of her and she casts uh, she casts pulse of life on everybody and all of you are back to full health all right oh and then she also casts uh, uh, energizing wind and if if any of you spent MP you're back at full MP too I, I recover that one on my own <laughs> Thing. Mm. Am I allowed to interact with them and ask them what they mean? Or uh, you can. Okay, I approached them and said, "What do you mean a secret?" Uh, Tear looks at you and she says, "What are you, what are you talking about? What secret?" I have returned. Back. Okay, back. I I just heard you guys say that you guys are keeping something a secret from us. What do you mean protectors? What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, I came oh. in at a moment. Huh. How? 
First off, Fiend, this is your fault for opening your goddamn mouth. Second, uh, okay, well, long story shortened, uh, Cora, you all have met him, he's the one who sent you here, um, when our world was taken from us, we... At first, we wanted to do the whole adventuring thing and uh, beat that devourer guy, but um, actually, you know what, Fane, you explain this because you're the one who opened your mouth about it. As Tear uh, begins, she she is pouting. And she is, she's still floating by the way, but she is sitting on her staff as a makeshift witch's broom. <laughs> because of how frustrated she is with her right now. Holy shit. That's cute. <sighs> okay, well. Alright. So, as she said, Cora, you guys, you met him. And at first we were all like really gung-ho about the whole adventuring thing. But after one too many screw ups and near death experiences and whatnot, um, we we decided that we didn't want to do that anymore. So that was when I took up dancing and she took up writing music. And while we were sleeping one night, uh. He contacted us, and instead of having us do the whole adventuring thing, he offered to essentially employ us in a way, and he made us into what he called proctors. And our main goal for years upon years after that change happened was that any time a new band of unfortunate victims of the devourer decided to take Cora's offering of a second chance and become adventurers uh, it was our job to truly test where their current and potential strength lied for their future and that was why when we offered to engage in the battle with you why we were so pushy about it so to say and that combined with everything else that's been going on and you know you've met Drava she was an ex-adventurer she at back then you know cuz we every everyone everything go, grows stronger over time her and her group they bested us and you know we let them go on about their way but essentially our role is that when it is time for a group to move on to whatever the future lies for them we test them to see if they're truly ready to leave and as mother often puts it sprout their wing sprout their wings and such as for me getting a little too invested in the fight uh, that's a really bad habit I have because back when I used to do the whole adventuring thing, uh, I used to want to fight anything and everything that I saw. And once I learned how technology and magic worked in this world, I got to tinkering around and messing with things I probably shouldn't be messing with and 
making things I shouldn't be making, and that's what led to me doing that little blood bullet trick that T Tear gets really mad at me for. Oh dear. But with, with all that being said, uh, you all have indeed passed the our our test and we are fully confident that you will be able to complete whatever task you have at hand being you know of course to take out the devourer in whatever means is capable to you all and you know make a make a change for more people than just us here in the village which you've already done a wildly successful job at so yeah that that's that's us that, that's also why when we first <coughs> met um, we had to go out of our way to make ourselves appear as weak as reasonably possible to you all however um tears uh ptsd curse i'm not going to count i'm not going to say problem because it's disrespectful to her um that was a real thing that you all legitimately helped her get over because she was tired of seeing people come here and then she never sees them again because well if if someone that we have successfully tested if they were to die it she feels that in her soul and it directly affects her which is why she was as bad as she was when we all first met because someone had just died and that person was like a brother to her. And as for the music career, that too is something that, again, I thank you that you helped her make the decision of doing. Now, that doesn't mean she will be abandoning her duties as a proctor, but she won't be, in a way, stuck here anymore not that it's a bad thing but it, it it's about time that the both of us decided to travel again and go do something different this time around does that answer everything you were going to potentially ask about yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I still don't see why... ...you guys wanted to hide it from us. But I'm happy that you ended up telling us about it, even though I kinda ambushed you. <laughs> well, to be fair... Uh, the last time we were just... ...out in the open about it... Um... The, the group of people that came at the time, we told them, uh, the first thing they wanted to do was fight us, and time after time after time of complete and utter failure, they, well, they aren't here anymore, and that's where I'm going to leave that. You're going to wait. I, I, I feel like I, I, I didn't hear the last part properly. After they kept losing to us over and over and over because they couldn't coordinate with each other, nor did they actually want to get stronger in the matter of helping and protecting people, they, they got into a fight amongst themselves and 
they... <sighs> they... If for cuts off, they all killed each other. <clears throat> oh. That's why they aren't here anymore. And that's why they keep it a secret, because they don't want to have a part in a potential group of saviors being the reason why they all fight amongst themselves and die. Since I was away to get food and all, is she only talking to Mel or is she talking to all of us? All of you. Okay. So, does that <sighs> answer everything now? Now I uh, now I understand. Okay, well, if all that is said and done, uh, there is one more thing we need to address. And Angela... <clears throat> Angela snaps her fingers, and suddenly Drava appears right next to her, and she is in complete surprise and shock. Because seconds ago, she was in her bed reading a book. <laughs> Said book is still in her hand. Yeah, I thought for a second you were gonna say that she was invisible and spectating the whole time. <laughs> nah. Nah, she just. Oh, what? <laughs> like she is, she she is stuttering and staggering over her words. She's trying to get an understanding of where she is, and once she looks and sees who all is here. <clears throat> She calms down. <clears throat> Alright, little lady. I can ask you this one time and one time only. Do you want to go with them? And Drava, she looks at Ifrit. She looks at Tyr and Fiend. She looks at Adam and Mayor. She looks at Mel, <clears throat> Yashua, Ice. And she reflects on everything in her life that has happened up to this point. And through extreme hesitation she she raises her head and she says yeah I'm gonna go with them I I, I really want to I want to give the whole saving dimensions saving the world thing another shot and even though I've only known these guys for not even shit <laughs> not even two days if that uh, I I think I can trust them all right Good choice. You said all I need to hear, little lady. And with that being said, everybody, we're gonna go back to the tavern. And <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she was still laying on the floor. <laughs> and she is going to clap her hands, and everyone is immediately transported back to the tavern. And yes, Joshua is still on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, sure, it just pops and just lands on the chair. And like, that just happened. Okay. So as Angela steps through her own portal, she dispels it. <clears throat> and she does her 
she does her cloning ability again and she gets to making a lot of food and uh, Drava approaches Mel and begins to initiate conversation however oh. Drava approaches Mel and she says I need oh I don't I don't need to talk I want to talk to you for a second and with that we get a fade to black and the session will come to an end and oh I now hit I was the gonna stop recording button I was gonna clap my hands and go well I'll leave you two to it